Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Eden. I hope you are all doing great. So I'm back with another interesting video here. Yeah, today's video is really interesting. Before we further proceed with what the video is, please do like, share and subscribe and also do follow the entire video. It is like very helpful I can say. Like it is not about our regular spoken English but yeah this could also help. Right? So have you ever wondered like uh, after coming out of the car and walking for a while and like looking back whether did you walk, uh, lock the car or not. Have you just went around looking for your keys like where, 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 where did I keep my keys? Where did I leave my keys? Or did you ever think like, yeah, what is, what is that person's name? I hope like I think I remember him but like it is just in my uh, mind like it is not coming out. Have you ever thought of all these things? Yeah, it happens regularly with all, each one of us, like at one or the other time. So, did you ever think that, like, are you ever worried about, uh, like, what will happen, like, how the car, the condition of the car is? Is it all perfect? Is it good? Or do I need to take to a mechanic and get it checked? Or are you worried about the aging skins, thinking about your wrinkles or the sagging? Or like tan which occurs when you go out into the sun and all. Are you worried about all these things? Yes. We are all the same. We all think of all these things. But did you ever think that? How about the wear and tear of our brain? Have you thought about it? So for all these things we will be doing externally some activities like we will be uh, taking care by applying creams and all or if it is car we will take for a regular checkup to a mechanic okay or if it is our skin we will take proper care of our skin we'll use creams everything what not we will be doing like all home remedies everything but did you ever think like and even about the physical fitness these days like everybody are worried about physical fitness even so we are just looking forward to do exercises physical activities and all but what about our brain which is very important it is a vital organ from the time you are a fetus from the time we are a fetus in our mother's womb from the third week like the brain like it starts developing the neurons in the brain like they will multiply in numbers billions and trillions so it happens right but we often hear saying that people saying that uh, with age people start it is a natural tendency to forget things okay but this is not true okay it is not at all related to age all that is needed is proper care of your brain that doesn't mean that you will just take out your brain and do some exercises and all that is not the way but like yeah physically you have to take care of your health physical exercises are needed at the same time, mental workouts, training the brain is very, 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 very important. Okay. So, along with our regular spoken classes, I thought like we will be making videos related to this brain training exercises which will help. See, we are like trying to uh, learn things in different ways like using charts, using pictures, etc, etc. So, in the same way now like all these things when we are doing, so why not train our brains as well as a part of this course, right? So today, just for example, like I just want to give an activity, okay? I just want to give an activity wherein like I'll see how many of you are like already giving a workout to your brain and are able to uh, do it well. Others like we will go in a stepwise or we will just train ourselves during this course, okay? So we'll see how far we'll be able to do. I'll just write few uh, words here and uh, try to memorize them for 30 to one, 30 seconds to 1 minute, okay? And then try to reproduce them again, okay? After 1 minute, you try to put it on the paper and see how many of you are able to put all the words, okay? I'll come back after writing the words, okay? You can see set of 15 words here and uh, take 30 seconds or one minute to memorize these words okay so these are all nowhere related they are all like random words which i have given so you can try to memorize them in any way you want to 
So after memorizing them, you can pause the video, memorize them for one minute and then try to recollect them and see how many of you are able to recollect and how many of you are able to write them back in the paper. Okay. So then like we will see how we can actually I have asked my five year old daughter to just memorize these words. I have told her once and asked her to memorize the words. She said like mama how could I do it? I don't remember all the words. I can hardly remember four words. She told me four words. Then I have just told her it in a different way and she was able to tell me all the 15 words. Okay. So we will see that. Okay. So I hope you have all tried them and how many of you have done it well like all 15 words if you have done like it is very good you have given a very good exercise to your brain and you are just keeping your brain healthy like others now try to memorize them in the way I tell you okay just like this is called as a linking like we can say you can memorize them using a story now I will tell a small story related to this particular okay to this particular words like we will just try to relate a story like I have told my girl. So let us start. Onion. So I said there is a big, just close your eyes and listen to the story which I am telling now. Okay. So there is a big onion which went and sat right on around Pisa. So suddenly the onion rolled over from the pizza and fell onto my sandals. And these sandals are new, okay? So while I was looking down onto the onion, the third, the falling of the onion created a watch which is hanging, a clock which is hanging on the wall to fall down. Now when it fell down, the watch started shedding butter. Butter started flowing out of the watch. I was amazed and looking at the butter. And this butter which came out, it formed like a fish. Oh wow, that's a butterfish. Now I suddenly saw there's a brush there. It is trying to color the butterfish and give it beautiful colors. It's trying to color it like a golden fish. And half the way the brush stopped. I was just looking at it. Why did it stop? Then I realized that there is no battery in the brush. So quickly we ran to the drawer to pick out the batteries. But when I opened the drawer, a big cat jumped out of the drawer. And this, while it was jumping out, it jumped out and went and hit the laptop on the table. Just then, the door opened. And there was a big elephant standing right in front of the door. Okay, and I was wondering, is it a dream? Just then I could see water on my face. I opened my eyes. Then I realized it's a dream and I started laughing. Right? So did you listen to the story? So now it's easy to memorize. Once again, there's a big onion sitting on a round pizza and the onion fell down onto the sandals and when it fell down onto the sandals the clock because of that third the clock fell down from the wall that watch started shedding butter from the butter it made a shape of a fish so this shape of the fish is colored with the help of a brush okay and suddenly the brush stopped because there are no batteries so he went the person went to pick the batteries and when it is open a big cat jumped out of the draw and it went and hit the laptop. So just then the door opened and there was a huge elephant standing in front of the door. And then the person was wondering, is it a dream that I could see so many things like this? Just then 
He felt water on it on his face and realized that it is a dream and started laughing. Right? So that is it. Now it is very easy to memorize and just recollect and write the words again. It's just so simple. So now this time I hope all of you are able to write it. Isn't it? So now I said there's a big onion on a big pizza, on a round pizza. Okay. So the onion fell where? On the sandals. And because of the third of the falling onion, what came down? The watch. The clock is memorized as watch. And after it fell down, what started flowing out? Butter started flowing out. And this butter formed like a fish. Who came to color the fish? A paintbrush. A paintbrush was coloring the fish. Suddenly the paintbrush stopped because batteries got over. So he went in search of batteries and opened a drawer and a cat jumped out of the drawer. It went and hit a laptop. And just then the door opened. And there was a big elephant standing in front of the door. And he was wondering, is it a dream that I could see so many things? Yes. Just then water splashed on his face and he realized it is a dream and he laughed. See how easy it is to memorize the words and just write them back. This is a simple exercise. Not about this alone. So there are various techniques which we will be discussing later on. But yeah, try to practice this sort of things even. Okay, some more like set of words I will write down and we will see one more. Okay, here are another set of 20 words. You can memorize them for 1 minute to 2 minutes. Okay, so once when you have memorized them again, so try to make a story in a similar fashion and uh, try to ring, link it up. Try to Recollect the words in such a way. First, you try to recollect them in a normal way. Try to memorize them in a normal way. And then again, try to recollect them in a different way. So, this also we will see with a story. Now, first of all, you just pause it. Take down the words. Remember, memorize them. And try to recollect the words in the correct order. So, like in the story, in the previous story which I have said, you will never forget, no matter whether it is from the end or in the middle or wherever it is, you can just simply recollect it, not on the same day, but even on the next day or like whenever you want to say. When you just recollect it, it will be very easy to memorize all the words. So, in the same way, you have to do here also. These words are not at all interrelated, but we will all relate it with a nice story. It is actually a bizarre, we can say, like the stories are like weird. So, but those stories will just get stored in the mind in such a way that you will be easily able to memorize them. This is just for training the brain. So how do you give an exercise to the brain? You have to do things like this to train your brain and just give an exercise to the brain. Again we will see with a small story here. Okay, so these words, uh, let us remember in this way now. Suppose, I was sitting under a tree and time just passed by. I just tried to touch my face and I felt like taking out something from the pocket. I took out a pipe. I took out a pipe and along with the pipe a watch fell out. So not only a watch, it is in the shape of a mouse. The watch is having a shape of a Mouse. It's a strange watch. It's looking like a mouse and it has got engine mechanism. The watch has got an engine mechanism. And all the numbers, instead of numbers, there are planets on the on the dial of the watch. Okay. And when it is ticking, it's making a thunder sound. The watch while it is ticking, it's making a thunder sound. 
I have seen something else falling out from the pocket. It's a necklace. Yeah, I remember. I took the watch and the necklace from the wardrobe today. Just then, a caterpillar was crawling by. I noticed that there is a beautiful garden beside. So, in the garden, there are so many flowers and fruits. By looking there at them, I remembered a trickle. What's a trickle? It's a syrup, we can say, which is made out of fruits or like thick syrup. It's a trickle. I felt like taking a picture of it. I took out a picture and harnessed it onto a horse. What is harnessing it? Just tying it with something. Just like horses and all are tied up. So, I harnessed it onto a horse. Now, I just went into a sleep by looking at the picture. Suddenly, an apple fell down. Suddenly, an apple fell down. And I remembered a jam by looking at the apple. And jam is loved by children. Right? So, here again we have framed the story. So, while we were sitting under a tree without knowing time. Now, shall we try to recollect the words with the story once again? Now, shall we write down all the words with the help of story? How many of you are doing it along with me? It's really, really helpful. I'm telling you, it really helps. So, the first word is, we are sitting under a tree. And what passed by? Time just passed by. Okay. We are sitting under a tree and time just passed by. And what happened next? What happened next? Try to recollect. So, I was sitting under a tree and time just passed by. So, after time passing, so the time is passing by. What was I doing? I was sitting and touching my face. When I touched the face, I thought of taking out something from the pocket and I took out a pipe from the pocket. While the pipe came out, a watch fell down along with the pipe. And what sort of watch is it? It is looking like a mouse. This is a strange watch which is of a shape of a mouse. And what is its mechanism? It has got engine in it. Not only engine, what is the strange thing in that? We have even seen that instead of numbers, it has got planets on it. And what about the ticking sound? It is making a thundering sound. It is making a thundering sound. So, along with the watch, something else fell down. What is it? It's a necklace. Where did we take these two from the necklace and the watch? It is taken from a wardrobe. They are taken out from a wardrobe. Just then what happened? Just then a caterpillar passed by. By looking around, we found a beautiful garden there. The garden is full of trees and like it has, uh, it's having so many flowers and fruits and which reminds of a trickle. By seeing all this, I thought of taking a picture of that. And this picture is taken and it is harnessed onto a horse. It's harnessed onto a horse. And by just looking at the picture, I went into a deep sleep. When I was in sleep, what fell down? An apple fell down. By looking at the apple, what did we remember? We remembered a jam. And who likes jam a lot? Children. See, it's so easy when we interrelate things and try to memorize them. This will be remembered by me even tomorrow, day after, like after a few days also if you ask me. I'll just try to close my eyes and recollect what all is happening. So, I hope you liked the video. Please do practice and we will be doing more of this sort of videos. Please do like it. Thank you.